Brain tumors are among the deadliest of all cancer. Even with all the advances in modern medicine, survival is not much better than it was 20 years ago. But our Dr. Max Gomez has word of an unusual experimental treatment that is offering new hope. Dr. Max. That's right, Christine. And Chris, it's a combination treatment that uses an old drug and a virus that acts like a guided missile to deliver gene therapy into brain tumor cells. And it leaves normal brain cells alone. Then it gets even more interesting. Jim Metzl was a senior in high school, an athlete who ran track, played baseball, just a normal young man, until one day 12 years ago when he was sitting in a chair at home and tried to talk to his dad. My brain was working, but it, it, the words wouldn't come out of my mouth. Jim had a brain tumor called a malignant glioma. Against the odds, and after five brain surgeries, he's alive and enjoying life. But these types of tumors will keep coming back. It's like an octopus, but they have these tentacles that grow in and disperse between the normal tissue of the brain, so that it's impossible to get it all out. So Jim has volunteered for a groundbreaking clinical trial to try to kill off those remaining tumor cells. Jim's MRI shows the cavity where his last recurrent tumor was removed. It's all around the edges that surgeons use a tiny needle to inject microscopic droplets of genetically engineered virus into the brain. Here's what you can't see happening. Those virus particles insert a bit of genetic material into the tumor cells. That eventually codes for a special enzyme so that when the patient takes a pretty benign antifungal pill, it's converted inside the tumor into a lethal chemotherapy drug. Better yet. That virus learns how to find and invade the dividing cells, which are the tumor cells, and it leaves alone the normal brain cells, which are not dividing could mean Jim Matzel will continue to beat his tumor with far fewer side effects than the chemo he's had to undergo so many times. Right now this is a phase one trial, meaning it's meant to check for safety, although preliminary studies show that the virus is harmless and the drug is well tolerated. Eight medical centers, including JFK and Edison, New Jersey, are